Hey ladies, good morning. I'm in Houston at Mina Irfan Universe Guru's Incarnate event. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. I just got up. I am listening to her audiobook. I'm trying to catch up because I know the other ladies have already read it. So I'm catching up. I'm about to iron my dress. It's got a couple wrinkles in it. I'm wearing a red dress. And there's my bed, there's my fridge, I'm trying to eat healthy. I had Instacart send me food last night so I can stay on my meal plan. I got a little messed up in the airport and I started eating things that are not on my food plan because I, well, I packed food for the airport and then I ate it all. And, um, you know, I ate earlier than I was supposed to and I was really hungry. So I ended up like, starving in the airport because I ate all my food <clears throat> so I had to um eat the food they had there and I ate like some ranch dressing on this non-organic salad and I don't know there was like chicken on it and I just started eating poorly and I started to feel really sick so I have my gallons of water my oatmeal my food scale's right there. I'm back on it, girls. I am not going to be messing up. Okay, I'm going to eat out very sparingly. And if I do, I'm bringing my food scale with me. And this is Houston. It looks the same as last time I was here. I thought they had um, the trees lit for like the holiday or something, but I guess they stay lit all year round. So it's really pretty out here. It's very clean. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup. The event starts at nine, well, registration's at nine o'clock. There's gonna be a lot of ladies at this one. There's supposed to be about 60 ladies at this. Um, all the other intensives I've been to have had uh, much less people. They were very small and intimate and, um, no, I'm just glad that I got to become friends with Mina and meet her and get to spend a lot of quality time with her, you know, while her events were smaller. I realize now it's going to be a little different. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, she gets to help a lot more women like this. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what it's going to be like. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful, though. And um, it'll be nice to meet some new ladies. Um for the most part, um, when the events were smaller, like a lot of times it was like mostly the same people each time. So we kind of had like a little bit of a crew. So now we're gonna have like a lot more ladies. So I'm gonna have a lot of people to meet. Um, yeah, it'll be nice, I'm sure. It's gonna be cold in there too. So I brought an extra dress. I brought a regular dress and then a sweater dress. Just in case it gets too cold, I'm just going to come upstairs and change my clothes and wear the sweater dress down there. It was actually snowing here in Houston a couple of days ago and everything was iced over. So it's, um, it's pretty cold today. But we'll be inside the building, but still. You know how I am. I do not like to be cold, ladies. What else can I tell you? Oh, um... So two of my SDs paid for me to be out here. One bought me the ticket to get into the event. And then my other one bought me the, uh, the plane ticket and paid for my hotel and what else? Oh my God, I paid for my own Uber. I'm not kidding. Because my main SD, remember how, um, he got mad at me because I used a credit card for a large purchase because I had to buy um, some business equipment for a business I didn't tell him about. So anyway, I had a card that um, I was the authorized user on. I had it for years. And this time around, he says he didn't do it. He said um, the company shut it down without his permission. I think he's lying. But anyway, after I made the large purchase to purchase some equipment for my business from China, I think he got mad and he called and he got the card shut down. So now I don't have his card. So when I'm out here traveling, the heck am I gonna do? I don't have a card, that's his. So 
I was a little bit mad about that. I had to pay for my own Uber because um, I don't have his card anymore. Well, he says he's going to get me a new card soon. He said, like, it's coming in the mail. I think he's lying um, because he got his new card with the new number. And then he said he just forgot to ask for a second card for me. And then I reminded him of it. And he keeps trying to, like, you know, just tell me he's working on it. And then I think he's hoping that I'll just forget eventually. Like, I'm never going to forget. Okay, I've had his card in my wallet for many years. I'm not just going to forget. Yeah, so that's what happened with that. Not really a big, huge deal. Like, if I harass him enough about it, he'll get me the card. I don't know why he, like, took it so weird this time when I made that one larger purchase. Like, I never do that. I've had his card for years, and I never use it for anything like that. It was just, like, I really needed to buy the equipment. <clears throat> and I would have just told him about it up front so he would have been ready for it, but I didn't want to tell him I was starting a business. I wanted to keep it private, <laughs> at least, you know, until later on. I don't like to tell everybody everything while I'm still working on it. So I just didn't want to tell him. And plus, I don't want him to know too much about my business activities because I know it's just human nature. But if he thinks I'm getting a lot of money outside of him, he's going to be less likely to want to continue to give me money. Right? It only makes sense. You know, he's going to be like, oh, she doesn't really need my money that much anymore. And then he'll start getting cheap with me. So to prevent that, I don't tell him about other money I receive. Like, you know, I don't tell him, like, that I get money from other men either. I mean, he must think something, you know, something is up. I mean, unless he's just, like, not doing the math in his head. I mean, the money I get from him covers all of the bills. I mean, like, all of the bills and groceries and, you know, gas in the car and all these things. But he has to notice, like, um... How does she afford these really expensive tickets to these retreats, right? Or certain, well, I guess that kind of makes sense that he wouldn't because he doesn't really know how much the tickets are. Maybe he thinks they're like $200 or something. Mm. It's possible. And a lot of the classes I take, he doesn't know how much they cost. So, and he may be in some type of financial delusion in his mind that tells him that his money goes further than what he thinks it does. Which would kind of make sense because this man, though he makes a really good amount of money, he's not that great with budgeting his money. That's one of the reasons why I won't marry him. Like I've been dealing with this with him for 14 years or no, thir 13 years. Um, no, 12 years? I don't remember, I would have to go back. It's either 12 no, like 12 and a half years. We just had our anniversary, that's right. Um, you know, I've been dealing with him. And yes, he's really good at making money, okay? Um, he's, a man, um, he's a generator. His human design is a generator. So he's really good at going out there and making the money. He's just not that great at keeping it. So he's not really that financially organized in his mind. And it's weird too, because, you know, he, you know, like he's also an accountant. I mean, you know, he went to school to be an accountant. So you think he'd be, be, be better at this, but he's really not. So maybe he just really does not have, you know, maybe he's not in touch with, with reality. But yeah, you would think he would notice that I have more things going on financially than the money he gives me. <clears throat> um, he does know about my Airbnb properties, so maybe he just thinks more money's coming from that. I don't know, but you know what else is crazy is he does my taxes too. So he knows exactly how much I have coming in from my real estate. I don't know. Um, I'm probably not gonna have him do my taxes anymore coming up. I was thinking about that. I should probably cut that off because my income is increasing and I don't want him to know about my business activities just yet. 
especially, um, you know, I don't want him to know about the money from the Sugar Lady Academy or from coaching. And I don't want him to know about my newest business I'm in the middle of creating, fingers crossed. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna turn into anything major, it might. Um, I'm doing this business in the DR. Um, and this is the business I didn't really want to tell him about. I didn't want to tell him about it. I just don't want him, you know, trying to like put his two cents in and trying to like tell me how to run the business when it's something he does not know how to do. And I also don't want him to know about the income it's going to produce because you know how these men are. Even if they're providing for us, it's just natural for them to maybe try to find a way to go into lazy mode and I don't want him to do that so I have to keep some secrets from him but yeah that's how the whole credit card thing happened I bought some equipment for the business on his credit card and the charge was too high and it pissed him off so oh well anyhow this business is getting <clears throat> too long this um this business this this video is getting too long i have to go get ready for the event so i'm gonna say some prayers i'm gonna journal a little bit i'm gonna script about how the day is gonna go and then i'm gonna go get ready and ladies i got these really cool eyelashes oh my god these are the first fake eyelashes that i can actually put on myself i experimented with them last night and they're so cool Actually, I'm just gonna show them to you right now so you can see. These eyelashes, oh my God. You don't need any glue or anything. They're not magnets. <sighs> Look at these ones right here. This is what they're called. I got them on Amazon. You literally just take them and you use this little tool and you take them and you put them like underneath your eyelashes and they just stick there and they come off too and you don't rub all your eyelashes out and they're clean and easy. I couldn't believe it. I experimented with them a little bit last night and they actually go on easily. I've never had a fake eyelash that just goes on. So I really stayed away from them because they were just too hard for me to do, but I really think I can do these ones. So if you like them, you can get them. If you want to try them out, they were like 10 bucks. And I got them on Amazon. All right, ladies, I got these contacts too. They're gray. I don't know if I'm going to try to mess with them today though, because my eyes will probably be red all day. And I don't want to have red eyes for this event. I just brought them in case, but I probably won't mess with that today. All right, ladies, I'm going to go get ready. Talk to you later. Bye for now. Oh, if you like these videos, like, subscribe. <clears throat> and if you are new here, you can always go to the Sugar Lady Academy. Most ladies who've already been on this channel for a long time have already gone over there. But if you're new, check it out. The link will be in the description box below.